Singapore has a top draw, but not easy, education system that exerts pressure on students and their parents, said Prime Minister Lee Shin Long on February 3rd. Speaking to students and parents, PM Lee added that while taking one's education seriously is good, too much pressure is not. He noted that the government has been trying to ease the pressure on students. We have been trying to balance our system so that you moderate the pressure so that you can work hard. Without feeling, Bui Tian cannot take it any more, said PM Lee, as he gave out education awards for students who live in Tech Gi in Ong M O Kyo, where he is the MP. He outlined some changes the education ministry has made in recent years to ease pressure on students, such as having no exams for primary one and two pupils, removing the T-scores from the primary school leaving examination and replacing streaming in secondary school with subject-based banding. PM Lee also noted that the government is emphasizing mental health and wellness so that students can get help if they feel overcome with stress. Teachers and counselors will help guide students and get feedback so that adjustments can be made. He said. On February 3, PM Lee presented 441 awards to students at the Educive Award Ceremony held at Tech Gi Primary School. There will be another ceremony on February 4, with some 920 students receiving awards across the two days. The Educive Award is given to students based on their character, leadership and academic performance to motivate them to continue to excel. PM Lee said that encouraging young people is one of the most important things the government can do for them. We are growing up in a world which is uncertain, which is dangerous sometimes, where we have to fend for ourselves and we do not just have to work hard, but work smart and think what we can do. How can we do better? What you learn in school is what makes you prepared for that and helps you look after yourselves and do well together for Singapore, he said. PM Lee also gave out 223 bursaries under the Tech Gi Citizens Consultative Committee bursary awards to students from low-income families. After $190,000 was raised by community donors, he stressed the importance of having the community come together to give extra support to families who need it, even as the government spends money to make sure education is affordable to all. He hopes that the bursaries, aside from helping to defray school expenses, will encourage the recipients to work harder, do well, and be able to master the subjects and go on and be successful as adults. And in life.